Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's learn about angles in a quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals are four-sided shapes made up from straight sides. And the angle rule that we're about to learn actually applies to all quadrilaterals. So whether it's a rectangle, a rhombus, a square, or even an irregular quadrilateral, whatever quadrilateral you can think of, this angle rule will apply to it. This angle rule is that angles inside a quadrilateral always add up to 360 degrees. We're talking about the interior angles here, the angles inside the quadrilateral. And the rule is that those four angles inside the quadrilateral will always add up to 360 degrees. Let me show you now why angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. Let's see if we can understand where this comes from. What I've got here is a rhombus. And what you can do to actually any quadrilateral is you can add a line that links the opposite corners of the quadrilateral and split it into two triangles, as you can see here. So I've added a single line that links some opposite uh, vertices of the quadrilateral and that splits it into two triangles. Now we've already learnt the angle rule that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So in the green shaded triangle here you can see that the angles must add up to 180 degrees because of that angle rule. And then in the other triangle the angles in that one must add up to 180 degrees. But the quadrilateral is made up of both triangles. So we need all of the angles in both those triangles to make up the angles of the quadrilateral. So two lots of 180 degrees make up the 360 degrees which we have um, in this quadrilateral. Let's see how we can use this angle fact, angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees, to solve an angle problem. Here I've got an irregular quadrilateral. But this angle rule, as I've said before, works for whatever quadrilateral you can think of. OK, so we have an irregular quadrilateral here which has angles, interior angles of 60 degrees, 95 degrees and 100 degrees and it also has another angle x which we don't know the size of yet and we're going to use the angle rule to calculate it. So angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees so we can say that 60 add 95 add 100 add x is equal to 360 degrees. Or another way of thinking that would be to say if we start with our 360 degrees we take away 60, take away the 95, take away 100, what would be left with is x. So x, angle x, must be equal to 105 degrees. That was Angles in a Quadrilateral. If you want to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.